Let's talk about wine tasting. Hi everyone, I'm Alicia Towns Franken. Today we're gonna to be talking about a lot of things, but first we're going to talk about observing a wine bottle. This is in the order of body. Alcohol is a great determinant of body. If I'm walking into a wine shop and I don't know what something is, that's the first thing I'm looking at. This is an 8.5%, 13.5%, and this is even higher. This is a lighter wine, and this is a heavier wine. So you can always start there. I'm also looking for the vintage. It's not what we think of when we think of vintage clothing. It's not that it's old. This is going to tell you when the grapes are grown. It gives you an indication of what was happening in that growing season. Was it too warm? Were there fires? And if I knew nothing about wine, I'd be looking at the shape. If you see a bottle that's shaped like this, this is a very traditional Bordeaux style wine bottle. This is considered a burgundy bottle. A bottle like this, which is an Alsatian slash German bottle, is going to be things like Rieslings, Gewürztraminers, Pinot Blanc. Another thing to think about is closures. This is a, a screw top. It's a style of enclosure, and it's fun. Not that it's not serious, but it's not something that you're going to put in your cellar and wait 20 years to drink. These are corks, and you definitely get some air in the cork, which is going to help the wine evolve over time. Over 90% of wines are meant to be consumed within the first couple of years of its life. So using a cork, which can be incredibly expensive, doesn't make sense. But for things that you're going to put in your cellar, save for your child's 21st birthday or their wedding, you definitely want a cork. We've got four wines, all the same grape, $20, $40, $80, $250. Price point is determined by so many things. If you have maybe, let's say, $3 worth of wine in a bottle, by the time you add the cost of the packaging, the cost of labor, the cost of the land, whether or not you have to pay tariffs on it. The bottle itself, the cork, cartons, labels, something that the winemaker might have spent $10 on may cost you 40. And if you put it on a wine list, it's gonna be even more expensive. This is an interesting wine. This is Joseph Duran. It's their Bourgogne, and Bourgogne just means Burgundy. It's definitely punching above its weight, I like to say. It's quality, but they don't own these grapes. They're buying the grapes from different vineyards around Burgundy. That's yummy. For $20, I'm not disappointed in this wine, but I'm really interested in what's going to happen as we progress in price. So our $40 bottle of wine is a very interesting wine from South Africa, and it has this great wax capsule. All you have to do is put your corkscrew in it. And is it twice as good as this? And considering that it's my wine, I'd say yes. The finish of this wine, it's a lot longer than what you're getting on the first wine we just tried. It's at least 45 seconds, it keeps giving. Why is it only $40? It's because the cost of land in South Africa is a lot less than you would find in Burgundy. So we've gone, done 20 and we've done 40 and, and we're about to do 80. It definitely speaks to a place and as you're getting up there in pricing, it's going to be definitely more specific. This wine is just Burgundia. It's from somewhere in Burgundy, where this wine, they're very specific. It's from the Dundee Hills. So it's not from multiple vineyards and blended together, but this wine comes from one place. What I'm expecting from $80, that I don't waste my money, um, and that I really, really like it. Beautiful color. This wine is gorgeous. There's so many things I'd want to eat with this and I also can drink it on its own. There's definitely an earthy quality to it. Beautiful acidity. This is a great one. I'm expecting so many great things. And someone said, it's a special occasion wine. I tell you, life is too short and too fragile. Every day is a special occasion. This is a $250 bottle of Burgundy. It's Pinot Noir, just like the other ones. And then this is a single vineyard as well. And a monopole, it's like no one else is making this wine. 2017, fantastic vintage as well. I have high hopes for this wine. Wow. Okay, hot damn, this is amazing. This nose is giving so much and I haven't even tasted it yet, but it is telling me exactly what I can expect from this.
This is like having a velvet glove wrapped around the fist. It's giving you so much. This is one of the best things I've had in a while. When you get to this price point, you're probably going to do quite well. This wine, you can guarantee that you're going to enjoy it. You don't want to share this with 20 people. Two, four if you have to. Pricing is hard. It really is what does it mean to you? What is it worth? What's the occasion? And how much do you have to spend? You don't have to spend a ton of money, but if you can and to experience this, it's definitely worth it. Wine glasses will change your perception of wine. It will help your experience of the wine as well. I like to say we call it stemware for a reason. Holding it by the, the bowl, you're going to warm whatever you're drinking. You don't want to do that. This is Made End's new universal wine glass, and th these wine glasses are fantastic. I love that this glass does not have a seam. I also love that this glass is durable because it's made out of two pieces and not multiple pieces and it's not going to shatter. And this is machine washable, which is pretty awesome. And this looks great whether you're at home or in a restaurant. For me, I'm looking for something that has a thin lip because it's going to help with the transition of the wine. And I'm looking for something, especially if I'm having a red wine, that's going to have a bigger bowl to help with the aromatics. And I think Made In's universal glasses are perfect. Any white wine or even any champagne or sparkling wine in this glass is perfect and any red is going to be absolutely delicious out of this. We're not canceling flutes, but what I don't like a flute is yes, you do have the great bubbles, but you're losing the aromatics and your nose can go in there, but you're not smelling a ton. You can definitely get something and you have to work at it, but a universal glass like this one, the bowl is bigger, it's opening up the wine, it smells night and day. This is stunted, this is expressive, this is absolutely gorgeous. And my friend June has come up with this great analogy. She talks about Destiny's Child. There are three main grapes that you can have in Champagne. Chardonnay, Pinot Noir, Pinot Meunier. So you know who Chardonnay is. Chardonnay is definitely Beyonce. You can tell it by her hair. She's a standalone rock star. She is the structure of the group. And she, by herself, is a superstar. Pinot Noir. People don't realize that there are two red grapes that sometimes make up champagne, Pinot Noir and Pinot Meunier. Pinot Noir is, is Kelly. You know, she can definitely stand on her own, but she's definitely better in a blend. And then there's Pinot Meunier. Rarely are winemakers using it. Sometimes it's less than a percent, but it's that little bit of something that you didn't know you needed. And that's Michelle. But this wine in this glass, night and day, this is going to give you a better experience. Fried chicken and champagne is a match made in heaven. You've got this delicious, crispy skin, um, some salt, some grease, and the acidity and the bubbles from the champagne is going to cleanse your palate and make you want another bite. I'm opening a bottle of champagne and I'm doing it in a way that I think everyone should do it. You want to keep your hand on the cage at all times and you're turning the bottle, not the cork because you don't want to break the cork. Some people like to pop the bottle. You don't want to do that because it's going to lose some of the effervescence and also it can hurt someone. So you just want a little bit of a sigh, just like that. Lots of wine professionals like to drink champagne out of white wine glasses because if you're drinking it in the flute, it's quite celebratory and really fun. But what you're not going to get is the aroma. And I liked the way champagne smells. Without the bubbles, you're starting with great wine, so it should also smell delicious. But I wanna see what this kitchen was able to do with this fried chicken and whether or not it rivals my grandmother's. I'm just gonna do this. Wow. My grandmother's rolling around in her grave because this is better than hers. <laughs> Sorry. I love the crispiness of this and it is married with the acidity and the bubbles of the champagne and it makes you want another bite of the fried chicken um, and it's just perfect. This is the House of Brown. It's owned by the Brown Estate in Napa Valley, the first black owned wine estate in Napa and this wine is delicious and I also love the label. It's just fun. It's easy. You don't need a corkscrew for this. I love this wine. It is just the perfect amount of hint of butter and it's absolutely singing in my mouth. This is a Chocolina. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Sorry, let's do it again.
This is such a fun wine. And I can only do that because it's about 11% alcohol. And so it's not so heavy and it's just incredibly refreshing. This is a wine that's created to go from the ice to the beach every single day in the summer. There's a little bit of sweetness to it and we've paired it with these beautiful tacos. It's going to be perfect. It's going to be a perfect marriage with that. Beautiful white fish, a little bit of spice. That's working so incredibly well. Um, the sweetness and the bubbles is cutting straight through this, the spice. God, that's delicious. I can eat this all day. I like to remind people that for every glass of wine you have, you should have a glass of water. Hydration is so incredibly important. <laughs> <laughs> I love Indian food. What I love about this tikka masala, it has this smokiness from the tandoor, but this wine is a match made in heaven that's going to pair incredibly well, I think, um, with this tikka masala. This is one of my favorite wines from Etna, Terra Nera. I love the color of this. It's taking me to these amazing places. Wine for me has always been my passport. And so I often think of Italy um, when I, I, I put my nose in this. And this is gorgeous. It's also the only place where a man will flirt with you while you're with your husband and you're pregnant with your second child. I really love Italy. Mm. This is definitely uh, matching it on every level, just the aroma itself. But what I love about this glass is it making these wines taste so much better. This has been delicious. I thought it'd be interesting to leave you with some terminology, things that you've probably heard before. Like what's an Appalachian? Is that like a mountain? No, it's not. It's a region. You've heard of Napa. You've heard of certain areas of Burgundy. That's an Appalachian. And then terroir is something that people throw around a lot. It speaks to a place. And that's literally the translation. Tannin. If you ever sucked on a tea bag, that's tannin that makes you pucker. It coats your, your teeth. It feels like little pillowcases are on your teeth. That comes from the stems and the seeds and the skins of the grape, and it's helping with the preservation of the wine. It, it's like your own little preservation system within a bottle. So we talked about a lot of things today, and I hope you learned some things as well. And as a wine professional, that has been my ethos to help democratize wine, to help bring more people into the wine industry. As a 30-year wine veteran, Wine Unify is an organization I wish I had when I was coming up in these wine streets. It's an amazing education-based nonprofit. We pay for people's Wine Spirit and Education Trust um, certificate, but we also give you all the resources you need. What we really want you to do is take risks. Try as much as possible. And do yourself a favor, try it in the new Universal Wine Glasses from Made In. It's going to hit all the notes you're looking for. It feels good, it looks good, it's going to help your wine taste better.